Hi, Terrence here again from Neptune Systems. One of the most common misconceptions we hear about the Apex is that it's hard to set up, that you need some giant manual to do it. <laughs> that's just not true. And that's what I'm here to show you today. In this video, I'm going to show you just how simple it is to use your phone or any internet connected device to get the new Apex set up, the probes calibrated, and get your basic aquarium hardware configured. For many years, we've been improving the Apex in terms of its setup and ease of use. Our new, just released Apex takes that to the next level with built-in Wi-Fi connectivity and a setup process that will get you monitoring and controlling your tank in less than 15 minutes. I'll be doing this as someone that has never had an Apex before, so you can see just how easy it really is. Now when you buy the new Apex, here's what's in the box. Let's go over all the pieces. This is the Apex base right here. It's the brains of the operation. All your probes, switches, and other connections plug right into here. And this is the part that communicates via Wi-Fi to your home network and then out to the internet. Next up is the Energy Bar 832. It's where you plug in all your aquarium equipment you want to control. It has eight 7 amp AC outlets as well as three one link 24 volt DC ports that power and communicate with products like our DOS and our WAVE. These things here are all your probes. The blue one is a double junction PH probe. That's brand new. The red one is a double junction ORP probe. That's also brand new from us. The black one is your salinity probe. And this is the most important probe of them all, the temperature probe. Temperature monitoring is the most important job the Apex does since out of bounds temperature is the number one killer of all aquariums. This cable here is the Aquabus cable. It connects your Apex base unit to the energy bar. These little sauce packet looking things are the calibration fluids for calibrating your pH and your salinity probes. Now I know all of this will be very exciting when you first open it up, but before you go and connect anything and start playing with it, I strongly suggest you mount both the Apex and the energy bar to a solid place that is as far away from splashes as you can get it. I can't tell you how many calls we get from people who start playing with their Apex before mounting it and they get salt water in it or even accidentally drop it right in the sump. Now once you get it mounted, connect the Aquabus cable to either, the Aqua, either of the Aquabus ports on the Apex and the other end of it on any of the Aquabus ports on your energy bar. Now plug the energy bar into the wall socket. Lights are going to flash different colors, but after a minute or so the logo on the Apex should turn blue and the logo on the energy bar should be orange. Blue on the Apex means it's in Wi-Fi setup mode. Now since I'm an Apple guy, I'm going to show you this initial setup using Wi-Fi and my iPhone. However, much of this setup will be very similar on any Android device or a computer. Now the first thing to do is confirm that your iPhone is currently running on the home network as opposed to the cellular ne network. You can tell this because if you're on the home network it'll have that little fan icon, but if you're on your cellular ne network it'll say LTE or 4G or 3G. So make sure it's on the home network. Next, open up the Settings app on your iPhone and then go to Wi-Fi. Select the network that will say Apex Setup, underscore, and then the serial number of your Apex. The iPhone will now connect directly to the Apex and we're ready for the next step. Go to Safari and type apex.local in the browser address window. A screen will appear that shows all the Wi-Fi networks near you. Select your home network and then enter your home Wi-Fi password. Now, you've got to be patient for a little bit while the Apex does its work and makes the network set up. Your Apex is going to reset itself and the colors on the logo will change until it finally turns solid orange and this means it's connected to your home network. So at this login window, use admin for the username and 1234 for the password. Those are the defaults. Now, let's connect your probes and get them calibrated. Here's the temperature probe. It's connected to this small telephone jack looking connector. The temp probe doesn't necessarily need to be calibrated. There's a way to do this, but for now let's just plug it in. Put the temperature probe in the tank away from any heaters and within about a minute you should start seeing temperature changes on your dashboard. Next, let's connect the salinity probe. It's the long skinny black probe and it goes in this port. Now we have to calibrate it and that's what this packet of fluid is for the calibration solution. We click here, look for the probe labeled COND or SALT, 
and select it. And then there's this big button for automatic calibration. We select that and we go through the calibration process. Now we'll connect the pH probe and calibrate it. Basically it's just like calibrating the salinity probe. Click here, then here, select pH, and then push the button for automatic calibration and follow the instructions. Last, connect up the ORP probe into the ORP port and place that probe in the water. The basics of the Apex connections have been done and now we can do the steps necessary to access your Apex from anywhere in the world via our free Apex Fusion cloud service. No port forwarding, no DYN DNS, no VNC, it just works and it's super snappy and responsive. From Alaska to Zanzibar you'll be able to know what your tank is doing, that it's safe and sound, feed your fish, make changes, do anything you want wherever you are. Now, if you've never had an account on Apex Fusion, simply open up a new tab and go to apexfusion.com. Register as a new user and then come back to this Apex screen so you can link your new Apex to your account. To link your Apex, click the drop down labeled admin on the upper right corner and select link Apex. Enter your Apex Fusion login and password and then click the link button. So now we can go to apexfusion.com from Safari and even when we're off our home network we'll have complete access to our Apex from anywhere we go. Pretty cool, huh? So now we've come to the part of the setup where we configure the outlets for all of your aquarium gear. But guess what? We've already done most of the work for you by pre-configuring them with the most common aquarium gear and settings. All of these can be easily changed after we plug everything in and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that as well. So here we go. Plug your first light fixture into outlet 1. That's the one in the upper left. This could be your blue lights, sometimes called actinics. Or it could just be another light you have or a basic LED. And this light is pre-configured already to come on at 9 o'clock in the morning and go off at 10 at night. Next, plug your second light into outlet 2. This might be your white lights, your second color of T5, or maybe you have one light on the left and the other on the right. Either way, this outlet is already pre-configured as a second light and is set to come on at 9.30 in the morning and go off at 8.30 at night. Into outlet 3 goes your return pump power cord. Your return pump is set up to run 24-7 and to turn off for 5 minutes during feed mode A. Now outlet 4 is for your heater. Your heater is set to turn on at 78 degrees and off at 79 degrees. It's advised to set the thermostat on your heater to 80 degrees or 1 degree higher than the top temperature you set in the apex. Now outlet 5 is where you should connect your skimmer. The skimmer is set to run 24-7, go off for feed mode A, and then wait 5 minutes longer for your return pump to come on and the water in your sump to stabilize. Now outlet 6 is for a utility pump of some kind. Usually this might be for a reactor pump, for carbon, GFO, bio pellets, things like that. If you don't have one of those, don't worry. If you do, plug it in here and it'll run 24-7. Outlet 7 is up next and it's set up automatically for refugium light. Usually you want these coming on opposite from your daylight so it's programmed to come on at 10 p.m. and off at 9 o'clock in the morning. If you don't have a refugium light don't worry again you can set up this outlet for something else later on. Now the last outlet, outlet 8, is for a fan. Plug it in here if you have one and the apex will turn on your fan when the tank gets too warm. It's pre-programmed to come on at 80 degrees and go off at 79. And so that's it. For most of the aquariums out there, you're basically set up. Of course, I know not every aquarium is as basic as this, but we wanted our customers to hit the ground running and to start monitoring and controlling their aquariums as fast as possible. Now, say you want to tweak any of those outlets we just talked about. It's easy. As an example, let's say you want both your lights to come on at the same time. So let's go in and change that and make it 9.30 in the morning and 8.30 at night for the first light. All we do is go to the dashboard, select the gear icon for that outlet, and we can put in the new times. Once you change anything in Apex Fusion, you need to send those changes to your Apex. You do that with this button. Easy, huh? Now, how about that heater? Maybe 79 degrees is a bit too warm for your liking. That's easy to change too. No big manual necessary. From the dashboard, simply select the gear on the heater outlet, change the high and the low set points, and then click the button to update your Apex. That's it. Now of course there are tons more things you can do with your Apex. That's what makes it so powerful. But here I simply wanted to dispel the myths and show you how easy it is to get started right out of the box. Now to learn how to take your Apex to the next level, 
We have a gigantic user community with over 12,000 members that are sharing their control freak ideas and helping each other out. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description below. As always, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can get notified every time I put out a new video. Until then, take care and happy reef keeping.